All right, guys, I'm working on my uh, my cage for my quail, and uh, this is what I got going so far. I forgot to set the camera up in the beginning, but it's hanging there. You get to watch us. I got a, I got a beautiful helper hair. with me today. I'm back here fixing my hair. <laughs> he always calls me when I'm not ready. What am I doing? Holding the board. Yeah, just need to hold it. Let me get these up. Screw started. All right, guys. Two foot wide by six foot long, and I'm actually going to divide that in half, and I'm going to make me four cages that are going to be three feet wide. I mean, uh, long by two feet wide, and I'm only going a foot high with them. All right, guys. I'm going to start on my project today, trying to get the quail cages uh, done. I'm going to probably try to get everything done except my wire. So I got to go buy my wire. I'll wait to the very last minute. If I have to buy it, I'll buy it because I'm uh, checking Facebook and Craigslist and different other listings to try to find if uh, I can come across any that's being trashed or anything or thrown away. So, well, any free freebies. So anyway, uh, I got some pallets I went and picked up yesterday. I'm going to show you how I cut them. Uh, I've done a pallet wall in my house. I've built furniture with pallets. And this is how I've done it. I've just uh, cut the nails.
that's how much I got done on the coop so far. Um, I'm going to get started today and probably finish it up. Um, I got to go buy the wire and uh, make my doors. Uh, that's going to be actually now, uh, see, I've been thinking and stuff. So that this here is going to go this way on, the, on this wall and I'm going to extend the top out to the door. And that's going to give me enough area here to, uh, it's going to give me enough area there. I'm going to put me a four foot cage, but it's going to be a double stack cage. But uh, one of them is going to be a brooder and the other one's going to be uh, a grow cage. So after they small, after they get a certain age, I can put them all in there. When they get big enough to be able to tell male and female, I'll separate them and I'll put my pairs in, in these uh, to have eggs and uh, so I can start hatching some eggs too. Um, and so uh, that's the plan, okay? And um, so uh, I got to get all this done uh, by Christmas because uh, we're going out of town and I got to be able to have all of this stuff running and, and, and everything running so that uh, they have water and food and I already have all that figured out. I already have, I've been watching videos, I got some ideas. I'm going to put a couple of things, ideas I had together to make something that I, I got a good uh, idea. Uh, I can keep my, uh, my quail uh, watered and fed easy easy for a week probably even more than that but we only going to be going a week so I just want to make sure that we uh, are going just for the week but anyway uh, I'll keep you updated uh, and uh, see you on the next video